Hello there, this is normal 433 MHz RF transmitter and receiver and this is NRF24 L11 transceiver. It has some plus points over the 433 MHz ones like long range, more channels etc. In this video, let's see how to communicate between two Arduino using NRF24 L11 module. So let's get started with this video. This is the NRF24 L11 transceiver module. Transceiver means we can use this module as transmitter and receiver. This is another version of NRF24. It has an antenna, hence it has more range. NRF module has 8 pins and that is labeled on the back side of antenna version but we can find that in normal ones. Unfortunately, NRF modules are not breadboard friendly. So to test we should use either female to male header pins or NRF adapters. Here I am going with header pins. So now let's connect NRF to Arduino. First I connected the power pins. I connected ground to ground and VCC to 3.3 volt pin of Arduino. Now I connected CSN and CE to pin 8 and pin 9. Then I connected MOSI and SSCK to pin 11 and pin 13. Finally, I connected MISO to pin 12. That's it. In the same way, I made another circuit. Now we have two circuit. One will act as transmitter and other as receiver. So now let's set up the receiver. Here I connected a LED to pin 6 of Arduino. Now let's set up the transmitter side. Here I placed a push button on the breadboard and I connected that to pin 2. Also I connected a pull down resistor to the circuit. Now both circuit is ready to upload the code. So first I connected the transmitter Arduino to the computer and this is the code. First I included the NRF library. Then I defined the CE and CSN pins. Also the address. This address should be same as in the receiver address. In the setup section, I started the communication and this radio dot stop listening means this module act as the transmitter. In the loop section, first I read the button state and then I send that data to the receiver using the radio dot write command. This is how the transmitter work. I uploaded this code to the transmitter Arduino. Now I connected the receiver Arduino to the computer. Same as before, I included the library and I gave the same address. Radio dot start listening set this module as the receiver. And in the loop section, first I stored the incoming data, then I gave conditions. After uploading, you can see the LED of receiver section will turning on when I press the transmitter side button. So this is how to start with the NRF24 L1 module. We can make lots of RC project using this module. You can download all the files from the link given in the description. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. If so, please like, share and subscribe. I will see you next time.